Tonight, a reminder, if you plan to move anytime soon, be careful who you hire for help. That's right. Consumer investigative reporter Bill McGinty joining us now to explain you should be doing all of these things you're about to explain so you're not left asking where's the money and where's my stuff? Right, you know, guys in this business, we all know we move a lot. We tend to move from city to city, TV station to TV station. So we're pretty good at moving. We know how it works, but you know what? Moving is stressful enough. New city, new job, new house, new schools, new friends. It's all hard, but the actual move shouldn't really be that hard, but sometimes it is, which is why you have to choose carefully and ask plenty of questions. Uh, after just getting married and rushing to get that done to relieve some stress, you know, we thought maybe having other another company actually bring our items down here instead of instead truck. of driving a truck from New York down to to North Carolina. This would be easier and this is like the complete opposite. Jackie Bruno was not a happy customer. The couple chose their mover somewhat based on price to move from New York to Charlotte this summer. The cost of the move, well, that became a moving target, eventually ending at 4,148 bucks. The timing, that turned out to be a mess too. Their stuff arrived in Charlotte 34 days late and 49 days after it was originally picked up. And the price you were quoted was not the price you paid at the end. No, no, not at all. So what went wrong? Well, more on that in a moment. But first, how do you avoid a mess like this? And it's just like empty promises over and over again. No one seemed to care. Some quick tips before you hire a moving company. First, get three estimates and don't go on the cheap. Use brand names for big moves and make sure your stuff is insured. Next, the estimate. It's best if they visit the home and see the load and give you what's called a binding estimate so your stuff isn't held hostage on the other end. Because if you just get an estimate and then it comes in $3,000 more than that, well, guess what? They're going to hold your stuff hostage until you come up with that $3,000. After all this headache. Do you wish you'd gone with a different company? Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. The company in question, 1-800-PACK-RAT, is trying to make this right. They told me the holdup was a clerical error on their end, which caused that long delay. They partially refunded the couple for their inconvenience. At the moment, that refund stands at $2,751. Well, the company told me in an email that they're also looking at their workflow and their procedures within the company so that a delay like this won't happen again. Guys. Wow. Ridiculous. Well done, though, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you've done.